everybody, my name is Roberto Isaac Bear from Bear's Eyes Lab, and today we will be looking at calculus. But what exactly? Well, we're going to be looking at. We are going to be looking at infinite limits. Alright. So, what are infinite limits? Well, they are limits that are infinite. What if we took the function 3 over x minus 2? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. 1, negative 1, negative 2. Go negative uh, four, no, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. All right. So we have our secret calculator in here. So let's see. Three over negative three and minus two. So that's going to be be 3 over negative 5, which is minus 0 plus 6. Now, let's do the same thing for negative 2. Let's look at that. And now, we have negative 1, which is 6. Then you have 0, which will give you negative 1 plus 5. 1, which will give you 3 over uh, negative okay, 3 over 1 minus 2, uh, which would be 3 over negative 1, and then 2. Uh, let's use the calculator for you. 3 over 3 minus 2. Oh no, that's uh, not how I can do it. 2 minus 2. Uh, well, that must be a bug. Let's just come back to that later. Huh. Three. Three over three minus two is equal to uh, three. And then four over four, uh, three over four minus two is six, one point five. All right. So now let's come back to that two thing. Three over two minus two. Oh, I see the problem. Zero. We can't have a denominator of zero. But what can this be approaching? Let's see this much closer. Let's say we had something that are a bit more close and zoom in on the scale. So, 1.6, And then, we'll try, you know what, 2, and then, Zero, zero, one, and two point three zero one, and two point one, and then so on. And that's it. So let's test out these values. First, we know what. That's a negative two. Let's calculate one point five. So three over x minus 2. So, what is 3 over 1.5 minus 2? Negative 6. What about 1.6? Negative 7.5. What about 
talking about one point chat team in pretty regular so far. Team one two should just be something, you know, um maybe at a uh, negative one hundred or something. Maybe that would be a good estimate. Three over one read eight or minus two. This seems pretty Whoa. How is this okay, one point nine minus two is it something absurd then? It's almost negative thirty. How could this be so bad? Oh I see the problem. And these values go up comically fast. So now the next one is going to be three thirty thousand negative thirty thousand. My assumption. Yup. And if we keep going, the values will tend forever and forever to you know what infinity. But now let's see what happens if we plug in two. Point zero 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 one. We two point zero 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 one minus two. Thirty thousand. Jesus. And then I would believe it would start going down again. So two point one, two point five, and three. So two point zero zero one minus two three thousand two three over two point zero one minus two is three hundred three over two point one minus two is thirty three over two point five minus two is going to be three it's going to be six and we know this one just three all right so it seemed to get really big and then zoom out and then start to get really small wait no but for really 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 small and then undefined to really 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 big all of a sudden and then getting really small again but how what where what let's graph this to see uh, where we need to get so negative three zero negative zero point six all right that's fine so that would be about here what about wait no that's not too obvious what about minus two negative zero point seven five Okay, so that would be a bit farther down. Negative one would be just negative one. Zero would be negative one point five. Okay, negative two probably be a little up. Hmm. Zero would be negative one point five. One is negative three. Two. Three is three. Seems kind of absurd. Four is one point five. And we just to observe a little closer, we could use some of the stuff we already have over here. Like one point five five and negative six, etc. And we had two two point zero zero one. And 2.5 would be 6. So, wait a sec, wait a sec. Hmm. And, wait a second. And where do they both nearly touch but never touch? Two. That's right, the vertical asymptote is 2. What does that mean for us? Well, let's say we take the limit started from the right. 
if we take the limit approaching to the right, so like this, from the right is of 3 over x minus 2, then that gives us negative infinity. Makes sense. Uh, while we were doing this whole thing, uh, while we were approaching to from the left or the right, then it was getting bigger or smaller and smaller and bigger and bigger in the negative scale until it suddenly zoomed out. So that would make sense if it went to negative infinity. Limit x on 2 positive, and then we have 3 over, okay, 3 over x minus 2 equal to positive infinity. So, that did not just mean that the limit of x approaches to of 3 and minus 2 does not exist. That also means that these one-sided limits do not exist either. So, that is infinite limits. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.